Well, morning everyone. Um, we're talking about Australia's least known live rail today. And uh, you might be very interested is, um, you might be wondering, what am I doing here in Sydney Central? Well, I'm about to jump on a train and uh, we're actually gonna figure out where the light rail is because it's not, I'm not talking about Sydney, I'm not talking about Melbourne, uh, and I'm not talking about um, Adelaide either, or the Gold Coast, uh, but somewhere quite new, Australia's newest light rail. which is Australia's least known live rail. You might notice behind me there's something very unique about this tram and you'll notice that there's no catenary um, or overhead wire to delivering um, electricity to the tram the whole way through. So we're actually going to take a ride through, see how that works uh, and uh, yeah, see a bit more of this network and how big it is. The entire route covers six stops starting from Newcastle Interchange, Honeysuckle, Civic, in front of where the old Civic Railway Station was, closed in 2014, then Crown Street, Queen's Wharf and Newcastle Beach. Network's uh, still part of the Opal ticketing system, so you can see you still got a tag on and or tap on and tap off uh, using the existing totems, and they look very similar to the ones uh, in Sydney. And uh, the yeah, a bit more about the route network. It's um, 2.7 kilometres long, uh, which is a bit of an extension out here to Newcastle Beach. These light rail vehicles are built uh, by CAF. Uh, and they're the Urbos 100 version. Now these version, this particular version here in Newcastle obviously uh, has the uh, catenary free uh, operation, whereas the existing ones in Sydney, Canberra, uh, and soon to be built Parramatta uh, will have a uh, regular pantograph uh, catenary wide line overhead. When the vehicle arrives at the light rail stop, the pantograph is connected to the overhead power. Once ready to depart, the pantograph fully retracts before the vehicle continues to the next stop. So right behind me you can see the converted alignment where the trains used to roll through Newcastle and it's been converted to a nice parkland which is quite nice on a sunny day like today. The signal box just behind me has also been converted into a cafe but you'll find the most interesting thing is that they didn't use the alignment, um, this existing rail alignment for the actual light rail. The light rail is behind me along the road. And so it's interesting how they've converted that and developed uh, the space instead. Um, I like going to apartments uh, and you can see that slowly developing through the corridor.
I'm here at the old station precinct site and uh, for most part, most of it's been retained, uh, even so much as the destination boards just behind me there. Most of it is being redeveloped uh, into some nice parkland and uh, looks like a playground. that's all from Newcastle. Have you been here? Do you want more videos like this? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe.